Hi, how you doing? Uh, today we're going to show you or kind of give you a little run through of how to do a plaster mold of, you know, a head. First thing you want to start here is with these uh, little aluminum foil wedges. It's where the mold is going to break apart. Uh, you kind of want to figure out how you want to lay it out. We did it, you know, down the top of my head and behind my ears. Um, the plaster she has is kind of looks like a toilet paper roll and she had you know taken it cut into different strips big and small uh... the big for the back of the head and the smaller for the more detailed front of the face um... and all you pretty much do is she had a little bowl of uh... warm water dipped it in and then kind of laid it out you're wanna gonna overlap it a little bit you know not too much but uh... you know enough that it'll hold together once it dries it's very quick drying um... i think the whole process from you know, start to finish once we started laying down was about 40 minutes so it took to dry. But I mean, as she began on the front of my face, um, the back was already dry. Um, step one before you even do anything, any any little piece of your body uh, that has hair on it, eyebrows, uh, if you're a male, beards, mustaches, underbeards. Um, I put it on mine. I did it all. Um, I, I didn't put, I wasn't generous enough, I guess we'll say with my underbeard so at the end of the video you'll see her trying to pull it apart and you know it has a great grab on my face and hurts slightly but uh... you know here she is uh... you know starting on my forehead um... the back is pretty much half dry already um... you're gonna wanna wait until um... you know you don't feel that moistness or dampness on your face anymore and uh... that's when you'll begin i guess to kind of pull it apart uh, right here, you know, I, I kind of look like I have a Spartan mask on. Um, she's using the smaller strips here on the front because, you know, there's a lot of detail. And you figure if you're going to go through all this, you kind of want it to look, resemble somewhat of what you're going to look like. Um, you know, when, once you start getting to, you know, you got to kind of decide you want to do nose holes or a mouth hole. Uh, I have a deviated septum, so I went with the mouth hole. Uh, you're just going to take two little straws, bendy straws, cut them off at the bend and put them in your mouth. I used two. Uh, it was kind of hard at first to, to adapt to, but, uh, you know, you could, it's up to you. I mean, you can use more than two straws if you want. Uh, you're going to wind up having to close over it anyways. Um, I haven't seen it since we finished up here, but she said she's going to take normal plaster and go along the inside and kind of get, uh, you know, wherever little pinholes are or air holes that were in it. Um, and it's, you know, she covered my eyes. Uh, you know, you kind of want to do that stuff last so you're not sitting there blind the whole time. Um, and like I said, it does not take long to dry, to dry at all. But, you know, we did as much as we could. We went on my shoulders a little bit. Um, here she's doing the underbeard. And, man, I'm telling you, that hurt. That was the worst part about it. When she started yanking at it, it was taking skin with it. In a second, we're going to have, uh, you know, as we were waiting for it to dry, I was getting a little nicotine fit, so I decided to have a cigarette here through my uh, breathing hole. Um, you know, there's not much you can do when you can't see, and you're just kind of hanging out. You're blind to the world. <laughs> uh, my roommate decided he wanted to try to um, feed me french fries through my breathing hole, and... Uh, here we go. I mean, you can't <laughs> literally. You're you you're barely moving your face muscles, so you're gonna gotta pull it in with your teeth. Um, it, it wasn't. I it wasn't a bad process all in all. I mean, here they go. They're pulling it apart. They got the back off. That took some hair with it. And you know, when she's pulling this, she's literally pulling my face with it. Um, it's, it's a hell of a process, but well worth it. And uh, I'm gonna get back to you with a video once we finally fill it with the ballistic gel.